Leo, let's get straight into your reading. If you're confused about anything, then please read my description box and my pinned comment below. If you're cross-watching for a Leo, then just switch over the roles. This is general reading, so it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. Okay, right. Okay, um, also, any of the zodiacs that I mention, please, please do keep an open mind. They could be placements in your own chart, or it could be relevant to whoever it is that you're dealing with, right? So your first card out is the Seven of Swords. This is Aquarian energy. What else for Leo, please? Thank you. Okay, the Fool. That is also Aquarian energy. The Ten of Swords. Okay, that's Gemini. Um, wow. Okay, so this particular combination straight away, Leo, would tell me that um, whoever's trying to mess with you, they, they need to be super, super careful because right now, the vibe that I'm picking up in your read is you're not in the mood for any kind of BS. Like, you really, really, you, you're not suffering fools lightly. You're picking up on lies super, super quick right now. Your intuition is massively on point. Um, you're not going to be able, like, if anybody's trying to peel the wool over your eyes, that they're not going to be able to, like, because you, you're seeing, you, you, you're seeing through people like glass at the moment. They literally cannot get anything past you right now, like, straight up. You also have the Nine of Cups as Pisces, King of Cups, Scorpion, Six of Cups, also Scorpion, the Devil, Capricorn, Justice, Libra, Hanged Man, Pisces, Ten of Cups, also Pisces, and then the Four of Swords, Libra. Reevaluating. You've taken a step back from a situation, and then you're kind of looking at it at a glance, going, something's not right here. You know, it's like you're very suspicious right now, um, but you're right to have your suspicions. Now, you, you've also got two fours back to back. OK, and, and fours pertain to hard work, structure, foundation, st uh, stability, you being focused on your, your future, but not to the point where you're sabotaging your present moment in favor of your future. It's like you, you're focused on your future, but it's not it, it's not distracting you, you know, from enjoying the moment, uh, if you like. Um, there's something else to that Four of Swords. If you just give me a second. There's a message that wants to come out, but it hasn't quite fully come out yet with that Four of Swords. Why that Four of Swords for Leo, please? My Four of Swords, thank you. The Tower. Mm, Mars energy. Uh, Scorpion Aries could be, you could be reevaluating a situation um, that involves an Aries or a Scorpio as well as yourself. It could be, but it doesn't have to be. Um, hmm. Yeah, again, it, it's that same vibe of you looking at a situation and shaking your head and going, something's not right here. Something's not right, you know? very 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 suspicious you you're not promising anything to anybody at this time as well something's very fragile i don't know if you're dealing with an individual who's very fragile that is possible or i'm feeling for the most part a fragile situation 
you're dealing with a fragile situation and it's like you treading carefully that there's something here on the line and it could be pertaining to this four of wands so in tarot your, your four of wands is about obviously your uh your building blocks for the future it can be marriage as well and commitments so i don't see you rushing into any kind of commitment right now it could be leo that, that someone's trying to force your hand uh, they could be trying to persuade you uh, to the point of nagging for, for you to do something and you're like nah something's not right with this situation you know so listen as I've already mentioned your intuition is spot on right now so whatever this is pertaining to for you you're on the right path and you definitely do have your suspicions with good reason really 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 good reason uh, the card that's central to your read is that king of cups so that is emotional stability emotional security and emotional availability as well uh, someone's going to make you very very happy you're making them happy also again it could be work it could be romance it's a bit hit and miss at the beginning of the month because they're not engineered towards relationships they're engineered towards everything else that's going on in your life um, but obviously, yeah, sometimes relationships can and does come out. So it, it's at the end of the day, it's how it resonates for you, you know. Um, very strong connection, whatever this is, because you do have the Six of Cups as well. Now, again, context is everything. OK, we have to read in context. We've got Leo, you're making somebody very, very happy. They have an extremely strong bond to you, a very strong connection. Um, you've opened the door of possibilities for them because of, of your kindness and your love as well. Uh, you, you could be dealing with somebody who had a difficult past who believed that they were not worthy of true love and then they've met you and you know you've challenged that whole belief for them that could also be in reverse as well Leo okay that that could be you that had not a good childhood and were led to believe that you were, were not worthy of love and then someone else has come along and really challenged that for you so again it's how how if or when it resonates for you right we've got a cat amongst the pigeons here though leo excuse the pun <laughs> i just realized what i did uh yeah that was so bad the seven of swords the fool the ten of swords the devil, the hanged man, even justice. Some of you are possibly dealing with a Cancerian because I've just done their read an hour ago and they either they were reevaluating something or somebody that they were dealing with was reevaluating the situation with them. So if you're dealing with a Cancerian, you might want to take a look at that read because the mirroring is quite astonishing. <laughs> OK, um, between this read and that read, the, the mirroring that's going on is really significant. There's an uncomfortable, well, an individual that makes you feel very uncomfortable. You don't trust them. You turn, you you have turned your back on them, and it's like you're literally waiting to see what they're gonna do in retaliation, because that individual is very um, childish, very spiteful, very vengeful and they have lost control they, they've lost control of you or the situation so what we see is them trying to control the narrative instead and possibly trying to control the way that others see you with that particular setup okay so this self-belief that you have that's going to serve you well 
because that is what's going to help keep you grounded throughout this process of being on the receiving end of someone else's spite. Now, we've been seeing that similar energy popping up in your read every so often for the past couple of months, haven't we, Leo? There has been a running theme of an individual who is extremely jealous of you. Okay, so to clarify that Seven of Swords, we have the Page of Cups, the Four of Wands and the Sun. Okay, good news here, Leo. We have an individual who is wanting to make a genuine apology to you for their past behaviours. It is genuine, that, that's why I had to clarify. Um, they, they've got something that's going on with them where they're okay one minute and then they're super uneasy the next. Now, you have been extremely patient with this particular individual. Whoever this is, like either they've had their medication changed up or something or they've stopped taking their meds where they need to and that they're not, they're not thinking straight. When they are in receipt of the help that they need, you can actually work with them. You know, you, you can actually have a decent conversation with them. But once they have been knocked off their course, it's like they make everyone else's life around them a misery because they're upset or they're disappointed or they're miserable. Like they, they really don't have a good handle on how their behavior affects everybody else around them. Now, for whatever reason, I don't know. That is just the energies that I can see. OK, perhaps this is somebody who needs a lot of help mentally. But then again, you have to ask yourself, well, is that my job? Is that my place? Is that my responsibility? You know, again, depending on your relationship with this individual is going to provide you the answer. Right. Um, oh, difficult, very, very deep. But at the end of it, you do have to take yourself into consideration here, okay? Because you cannot sabotage your own future because of one person, all right? Um, they, they might well have called you selfish and all sorts before in the past, but then it's like, well, no, you, you need to be realistic with this as well, all right? Like how, how much of their problem actually is your problem and take it from there. Again, it's going to be different for all of you. Um, I, I would like to move on from that, to be completely honest with you, because it feels like a drag. It really, really does. For some of you, this is potentially an X. Potentially, it doesn't have to be. It could be, um, I'm getting for some of you a relationship that was kind of like a, I'm getting like a flash, a flash in the pan relationship that there might have been a child that was conceived through that flash in the pan relationship. And it's, it's their energy that, that's still hanging around you. You know, they, they've got like a lot of expectations off you for some reason. Again, like mental problems is playing a huge part into this. Um, that there is a heartfelt apology here though so make of that what you will do with it whatever you like okay i i don't see you investing any more energy into that situation i really really don't not with that ten of swords like for you it's done you're genuinely looking forward to your bright new future with that fuel energy you genuinely are you've got a beautiful connection here though that Nine of Cups, King of Cups, Six of Cups. Absolutely beautiful. And then look what comes back in. You know, the devil. Uh, why, why is that devil here, please, for Leo? Thank you. The Emperor and the Four of Swords. Okay, so either Aries, Libra or Capricorn. Possibly Twin Flame connection here.
It's like you're trying to figure out whether or not someone is healthy for you. That's why it's the Four of Swords, reevaluation, taking that step back, not making any rush decisions right now. Something feels very odd. Why that justice, please, for Leo? Okay, so you got half the deck. Let's have a look. The Hermit, the Page of Coins, the Ace of Coins, the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Devil again. The Devil again. Ten, ten of Swords, Queen of Wands, and the Devil. That's an interesting combination. That's like some somebody was swayed by some kind of temptation and that temptation ended a situation or a relationship. It's like some somebody didn't have any willpower and they gave in to their temptation, whether, whether it was drugs, alcohol, sex, whatever. It can be a combination of anything. Um, so, someone like literally had or has no self-control. The Hermit, the Page of Coins and the Ace of Coins. There's a message here that that individual now does actually feel remorseful for their actions. Because they didn't just hurt you in the process. For some of you, they, they hurt their child or your child in the process as well. It's like that there was um, multiple casualties through their bad behaviour, you know. Why that hanged man for Leo, please? Why the hanged man for Leo? Thank you. Ten of Wands, Burden, and the Ace of Swords. Lovers, Six of Wands, Queen of Cups. You've moved on. Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands, yeah, yeah. Like, you've already moved on from whoever that person is or was. You're starting what I can see as an absolutely beautiful soul connection, very healthy connection here. And for whatever reason, it's triggered this individual into introspection like looking at their own behaviors figuring out how and why they lost you they see that you're very very happy moving forward with your life i mean th things are going really really well for you right now leo really really well you've got abundance prosperity you've got divine guidance here as well um it, it's like your ability to adapt to change has led you down a brand new path that is ultimately going to take you straight to your Ten of Cups, which is contentment and happiness in all areas of your life, all areas of your life. <clears throat> and in the meanwhile, it's like they're looking at you and they're like, I've, I've lost Leo. Through my own stupid behavior, I have lost Leo. And that they have to carry the burden of that. And that's why I feel, because of their sudden turnaround of character change, you're looking at them going, something's not right here. You know, you, you're looking at them with suspicion. It's for Leo. Thank you. Okay, clear and activate. Create sacred space. Let's take a look. Right, so this is number nine. That could be like the, I mean, the number nine could be relevant to some of you. Uh, you might have a nine year old. You might have um, been with them nine months. Um, you know, anything. There's a whole number of things as to why the number nine would have some kind of meaning for you. It's also about attainment and fulfillment, okay? Nines are all about how you're almost there, so don't give up, all right? 
Okay, so it says cleanse your environment and create sacred space. Everything in the universe consists of energy. It is in a continual state of creation and recycling, adapting and changing to its current environment, interacting with everything that it comes into contact with. There are many ways that you can clear and activate your chakras, energy fields, medicines, power centers, and your higher self. Energetic clearing applies to all areas of our life. The collective energy, physical exchanges, psychic information, spirit contact and your home or workplace can all be very overwhelming if you do not prepare yourself for these levels of interactions. When you're faced with a challenging moment, your energy centers become affected. A to and fro struggle or a pish and pill factor comes into play as you navigate these issues or interactions. Activating and clearing the energy centers through meditation or chakra balancing will improve your mental endurance. Potential healing can be achieved through yogi practices. Mudras, meditation and exercise are beneficial to creating energetic balance within the physical body. Currently you may be feeling emotionally sensitive and hypersensitive to your environment, including the weather and atmospheric pollution. Take positive steps to create an energetically supportive environment and understand the relationship with self. Right now, you need to switch focus. Being caught up in gossip, jealous conversations, participating in lower energy activities, repeated dramas and toxic environments must all be shifted now if you're wanting to live a better life. Yeah, I'm feeling that you've already cleared out the majority of that from from your energy leo i really really do um <clears throat> this could be you feeling suspicious that somebody's trying to pull you back into that kind of energy though you must be accountable for your actions and reactions Sunshine not only warms your skin, it also warms your soul. Spending time outdoors can refresh your mind and bring you back into the present moment. Negative and imbalanced energies can shift through natural light and atmospheric absorption through the plant life. The shadow aspect of this card is overreacting, indulgence and negligence. Okay, and I, I feel that that's whoever this individual was or potentially they are going to overreact to you moving on, Leo. That, that's what I feel is the message there, that they're going to overreact to you moving on. Okay, it says that clear quartz might be beneficial for you at this time, and the angel assistance is guardian angel Archaea, which is patience, learning new skills and finding the hidden meanings. And then the positive affirmation is I am, I am a clear beacon of infinite, pure platinum white light. It radiates through me and all around me. Wow. Yeah, you, you flat out rejecting all of that low vibe nonsense. But here's the thing as well. It's like it might like th those who misunderstand you they might turn around and go oh what's this leo you think you're too good enough for us now and you're like no it's not about that at all it's about you now knowing your worth and your value and anything less than that you you're just straight up rejecting like you don't owe anybody anything it really is that simple and do you know what? if they want to talk badly about you behind your back just because you're growing up and moving forward um that's on them you know it's for leo please okay wow self-love Mm -hmm. Self-love is not egotistical. I literally was just saying very, very similar to that. It shows you and others that you are worthwhile and deserve love in all its many forms. Yep. 
forgiveness. Trust in yourself is often harder than trust in others. Do not worry if you get this wrong. The consequences will not be as bad as you think. So it's time for you to uh, afford yourself the same amount of forgiveness that you afford others. Indifference. Some things are worth worrying over, but this isn't one of them. Let go of the situation and reclaim the happiness that has been stolen from you via these past events. Interesting. And then creativity. There are ways of dealing with this situation without giving away your power. Think of creative methods in which you can be heard and maintain your dignity. Yeah. So it's literally saying like, you don't have to stoop down to their level. They're, they're panicking though, because at the moment it's like you're vibing so high, they literally cannot reach you. Right, so I'm about to pull out swearing cards. If you're easily offended at swearing, then you do not have to listen. Also, if you have enjoyed my content, then maybe consider hitting the notifications bell and that way you'll be alerted every time I upload a brand new video. Wow, game over. Yeah. Can you accept an ending? Grief, loss, change. Big life lessons arise when a new game comes into play. Always evolve onwards and take it to the next level. Yeah, like Leo, this, this is over for you. Someone's trying to hold on to you though. And they, they need to let you go. They need to let you be free. Like we literally saw that in the first three cards that came out. Someone can't get over losing you. They, they, like they, they can't get over... Man, it's just weird. It's really, really weird because right now they've got a very um, weird energy. Really weird energy. It's like... One minute they're introspecting on everything that they did to, to push you away and then the next minute it's like they're talking crap about you and then behind closed doors they're crying about you. It's like, it's weird, you know, you know that their, their mental space is a very strange place right now. Really, really strange. Right, but I'm going to leave that one there. Um, if you would like to book a private reading with me, then the link to do so can be found in my description box and it's in my pinned comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.